Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. I did it the other day. Oops, I did it again, Mr. Magazine. Hmm. I made... What'd you do? A stupid mistake. Well, that's rarity. It's like the leap year. It happens, every though. Every four years. Once every four years. Sadie Hawkins Day. It happens. Um, I'm going to tell you what I did. Okay. And then you can share stories of other dumb things that you did. Oh, okay. Or that your employees did, or whatever. So, I had a magazine that sold. Okay. And it was listed fairly recently. And mm -hmm. I had down that it was in uh, box M3. Mm -hmm. So, I go down, and I look in box M3. And it's not there. Hmm. And I go through the entire box. Now, what I usually do, and I, your people probably do this as well, because it, it is kind of the smart thing to do in general, is you do a quick glance through the box. No, they don't double check. They just make their mistakes. Well, no, no. My first oh, check. First, yeah, okay. Because, especially on something like that, because it's going to be a newer listed. Yeah. Or, you know, so it, odds are it's going to be at the front mm -hmm. or at the back. So I'll grab the box mm -hmm. and I'll look through the first 20 or so. And then I'll check the back because that's if I'm if I'm putting a magazine in, I'm either going to put it in the front or the back, generally speaking. Yeah. And I said, no, it's not in the front or the back. So then I do a quick run through, and I didn't find it. So I said, all right, because 95% of the time you find it that way quickly. Sure. Yeah. So I went through the entire box, and I didn't find it. And I checked it a second time, and it was not there. Hmm. Absolutely was not in that box. So then I went upstairs and I started thinking about it and I said, okay, it was supposed to be in box M3. What if it was in box M30, M31, M32, M33? I forgot the second digit. Now, do you do these by list dates where like, you know, an no. M3 would have been a year ago and M30 would have been a month ago? No, because I fill in boxes. Okay. Um, so it could, it could literally be in any magazine box. It could also be in eBay box three. Oh, There's... Geez. Uh, very, very rarely right. would it be because it's a magazine. It would probably be in a magazine. Yeah. However, I knew it was recently listed. <clears throat> okay. So I went through M30, M31, M32, but just the front because, yeah. you know, the recently listed things, yeah. all the boxes through M30 through M39, it wasn't there. Hmm. So I said, oh, I don't know. I don't know where it is. So I'm finding other stuff and I'm just, I'm starting to get anxiety about it. Where is it? Because this isn't like it was a magazine that I listed 12 years ago, right. and who knows? It was literally a magazine yeah. that I listed like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Where could it possibly be? And so I'm looking through, and I said, well, okay. The way my boxes are configured, I've got 4, 8, 12, 16. I said, maybe I thought I put an M3, but I put an M7, because that's literally the box above it. Yeah. That's so I went, and I checked in there in the front part and everything, mm -hmm. and it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could not find this magazine. Now, why is it just the front? The magazines in the front only? No, no, because it was listed a month ago. Oh, it was recently. Okay. Recent. Yeah. So okay. I wouldn't have, I would not have yeah. put box seven out, right. stuck it in the middle. That would yeah. not have happened. So M1's out of, the, out of the equation, no shot? I think I checked there too. Oh, I said okay. maybe I had the box pulled out and I stuck yeah. it back there. How much is this item worth? 20 bucks. Oh, it's definitely worth it. To, you know, it's not a $5 item. And plus, you want to find it because one is twenty bucks. Two, you want a happy customer. Well, and three, I know that I just listed right. it. It's not something other that I can go. Ah, eh, it's twelve years. Who knows what happened? Yeah. Guess where it was. N three. It was in a small pile of magazines that apparently last time I was in the M three box, I had pulled out. You never put them back. Never in. put them back yeah. in, it's and it was off. sitting off on the side. And all of a sudden, as I'm sitting there. I turn around and I saw this small pile of magazines. I said, was what right are those? Was it, right it was off to the side uh, and another box, like yeah. not in the magazine <clears throat> box, it's off on the side. I said, what are yeah. those? <clears throat> I picked it up, went through it, and I said, that's the magazine that I need. Well, we've had those issues before, sure. What can you do to stop that? Because I, that was a lot of time I spent on I mean, a $20 magazine. That's just like a mental error where you pulled it out, you forgot to put it back in. So it's hard to really fix that. I mean, unless you want to hold, change your whole coding system, which is a good system that you keep backfilling or however you want to call it so you don't run out of room. Right. We can't do that with certain things in our warehouses. We're coding them by dates and stuff. But we do do that with bigger box toys that go on these shelves. You know, and it could be, you know, A1 through Z20. And then our listers will go see where there's some room and then they'll yep. start putting them back so that does save us some time and room and so forth but 
you're with your system was M1 through M40 or whatever, you know, you can't really change that now, and it's a good system anyway. So you just have to, like, look around in case it happens again. Like, hey, it's an M. Did I not? Did I forget to put it back in the boxes? My employees have done it a bunch of times, too, so that's very common. But um, other than that, yeah, just uh, think, look around, I guess. You know, maybe sit, stand, stand back, right. look at the whole room, and say, you know, what I do sometimes is I say, if I listed this right now, this second, this item, where would I put it? Obviously, it would be the M30, but I'm just saying, like, take mm-hmm. a step back and look around, and maybe you would have seen it. But you did find it, and that's all that matters. And it, how many times it happened in 10 years? Did very, you, very rarely. Know? Right, right, right. But it having happened really, like I said, it got me thinking. And, and in fact, I wrote down the, the title for this, which made me laugh, is I made a stupid mistake, as opposed to a smart mistake. Um, but... If you could mention out there what things that have happened to you uh, would appreciate that, do comment down below. Um, I wanted to share that just to let you know that no matter what system you have, nothing is fail safe. As I know I've said before, but an accounting teacher uh, back in college said to me, or said to us, the class, nothing is foolproof because fools are so ingenious. And that's absolutely true. Uh, there is absolutely no foolproof way to set up your inventory you will at some point have a failing. And this was this was my one point failing. Um, another problem that I could see happening to me, except I'm diligent about putting boxes, uh, covers back on, uh, which some of your people are not, yeah. would be, uh, I'm looking through box E14 and I'm taking stuff out of it. Well, sometimes you stick it over onto another box. Now, yeah. I have a cover on the box, so it's not a problem. Right. But say I didn't have a cover on that box, and I put them over, and then I brought them back, and I didn't bring all of them back into box E15, right. or I brought too many back into E15. Right. All of a sudden, those two boxes are intermingled just because I didn't have a cover to right. delineate. Yeah. But where else am I going to put those at? Do I want to put them on the floor? Do yeah, I want right. to, especially if I'm standing up, it's a lot sure. easier if you're standing up to just put it on the box next to it right. than it is to take it, bend down, yeah. do all that stuff. You know, we've had piles on shelves, and we have to pull them off, bring them all the way back to our desk, look up the first one and the last one, make sure they're in the same okay. box, and then put them in the correct box. You know, So yep. we would run a search on them first because yep. we don't want to put them in assume it's going in this box to the left of us when it could be the box on the right. Yep, yep. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Um, again, I wanted to share that, you know, even somebody that's been selling on eBay for over 20 years does make mistakes from time to time like that. Uh, you try to minimize them, but it does happen, unfortunately. A mistake that you will never make is hitting the like button, if you could. And we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.